guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brad. This is the Firefighters Financial Toolbox. The reason I'm doing today's video is to thank all of my subscribers. We just hit 500 subscribers, you guys. Now, for me, it's been a real slow road uh, in growing the channel. I've been doing it for about a year. I have just over 150 videos out there right now, and I'm glad to say we just passed 500 subscribers. Uh, I want to take this chance to thank each and every one of you for subscribing, for your comments, if you've shared videos to other people, uh, all the things that you've done to help this channel grow. Uh, I appreciate it. I, I appreciate the interactions. I appreciate the community growing and the back and forth conversations that I've had with a lot of you. It comes at a time when our country is in chaos, it seems. The coronavirus has made this place nuts. Uh, as you guys know, we've had probably the biggest roller coaster week in the stock market that we've seen since the Great Recession of 2008, 2009. Uh, we had the biggest fall two days. We had the biggest drops. And yesterday, or yeah, Friday the 13th, we had actually a big rise of over 9.3%. Uh, now we're still down 8.8% for the week, but we are just above the breakout point for a bear market. Let me start by saying I'm not a financial advisor, you guys. Uh, I'm a guy who started this channel, A, for my brother and sister firefighters who didn't seem to take their own initiative and in learning about this stuff. Now, I made a lot of mistakes when I was first starting in my investing career and I've paid for them. Uh, I'm actually uh, been contributing quite hard to try to catch up, living very frugally, saving what I can as often as I can. Uh, and I've learned a few things along the way. I've done a lot of reading, I've done a lot of questions, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos. Now, I don't claim to be a financial advisor, so please don't take all my advice as advice. It's education. I want you to be educated on financial affairs, investing, taxes, credit. All these kinds of things are important to make a holistic approach to you for you to have a better financial life. But I don't have all the answers. And what works for me does not necessarily mean it's going to work for you. So take all of it with a grain of salt. I try to make generic recommendations when I do videos because... Everybody is different. With that being said, with what's going on right now, it's a very, very trying time for a lot of new investors. If you haven't been through a serious bear market, uh, and we haven't had one for 11 years, they're trying. It's real easy to say when you only have $10,000, oh, I'm down $1,000, I'm going to buy low and it's easy. Uh, when you're in my state and I'm down over $100,000 in my portfolio this month, uh, it's hard because I know that it's going to have financial ramifications for my retirement, which I hope to do within five years. Uh, but I'm not changing my investment strategy at all. In fact, I'm buying. I would say this with what I think will become... Now, I don't know this to be a fact, but I think with all the slow down in tourism, the travel agencies are, the airlines, the crews, everything's come to a standstill. Basically, the only thing that's making money right now is toilet paper and face masks. So I guess 3M hopefully will go up. Um, oil prices are in the toilet because of this battle between the, uh, the Saudis and the rest of the world, and there's nothing we can do about that either. Uh, I think it will rebound, but I think it's going to take time. I don't necessarily think we've seen the bottom of this particular event. Now, we did get a little bit of a raise yesterday, so hopefully it will. But we have to keep investing. Two of my biggest uh, mentors in my investing career were Jack Bogle, the founder of the Vanguard Group, who has a very simple mantra, buy and hold. Buy index funds so you have broad coverage, good diversification, hold them long term. And, of course, Warren Buffett, the oracle of Omaha. And he says, buy a good cross-section of the United States market and hold it forever. And ignore everything else. 
Don't worry about what they say on TV. Don't worry about what they say on the internet. Don't worry about the doomsdayers. Buy and hold. And if it goes on sale, buy some more and hold it forever. Let's take a little look at some quick videos really fast of what they have to say. In a market like the current one, equity market is what I'm really talking about here, uh, where, where there is volatility, that it makes a, a, a perfect argument for why dollar cost averaging is the smart way to go for most investors. Well, certainly for anybody with a retirement plan or trying to invest for their children's college education, those are some of the main needs of investors. But take the simple one, the retirement plan. Uh, there is no other way to do it. Uh, you want to start building early, as early as you possibly can, because that, that slope gets steeper and steeper. The more money you have to put in per month, the closer you get to retirement. It becomes almost, uh, you know, you, you almost can't get up that hill later on. So start now. Keep investing. Um, when, the, when the prices go down, be happy. <laughs> you know, people don't seem to understand that uh, when the markets are at highs, it's great for sellers and bad for buyers. And when the markets go way down, it's great for buyers and bad for sellers. These are the markets. This is the great casino out there, Tyler. So just ignore all the noise. And it's the day after the stock market crashed. The Dow was down over 2,000 points. Oil cratered to $30 okay. a barrel or so. Uh, the 10-year bond went to below 0.5%. What the heck is going on? <laughs> well, I, I told you many years ago, if you, if you stick around long enough, you'll see everything in markets. And, and it may have taken me to 89 to <laughs> years of age to throw this one in the, into, into the uh, experience. But, you know, of course, we hit the circuit breaker yesterday. Uh, but, you know, it still was, it wasn't October uh, 19th, 1987, but, but it was, uh, it, was a, it was an imitation anyway. <laughs> And the combination, actually, of the of the coronavirus and and what happened with oil over the week. I mean, that is that, that's a big one-two punch. Mm -hmm. Does this remind you of any other time? Well, I've certainly been a, lot, a fair number of times when panic has reigned in Wall Street, and uh, October 19, 1987, and the period around it. I mean, there was there was panic. Uh, that was much more. Uh, scary by far than anything happened yesterday. All right, so I'm just an average Joe firefighter from Oregon who has tried very hard to set himself up for financial freedom. Now, I'm not all the way there, but I'm, on, I'm making good progress. I hope you enjoy the channel. If you do, drop me a like. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, please think about subscribing. Uh, the bigger the community grows, the more we can get our message out there to more people. If you enjoy my any of my past videos, you guys look through. I have playlists. Uh, the playlists usually are broken down by generalized topics. Uh, if you find one you like, share it to Facebook. Share it to Instagram. Tell a friend about the channel. I really appreciate everybody's help in making this channel grow. And I want it to get even bigger. All right, you guys, I really appreciate all of you, and I appreciate everything you've done since I started this channel. Without you, I don't have a reason to be here, so thank you.